Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Saab with here, back with another video. We're here with some more Halo Infinite stuff. Uh, I kind of wanted to talk more about the armor coatings and my take on a possible compromise that 343 could do with it. So firstly, I kind of wanted to just summarize up what uh, armor coatings are for those that don't know, those that are new. Um, basically, armor coatings are just like a skin. Yeah, it's, it's a seven-layer shader, so sort of like Destiny shaders that it's it's artist authored so basically it means that the color the material or the pattern are all made by the artist so it kind of is able to bring more of unique designs to halo infinite however though at a cost of this um it says that primary and secondary color options are uh replaced because of this and then there was a bunch of backlash on it and we all know that you know i already had a video on my concerns and how i dislike this idea however i think that there can be a lot of positive things with armor coatings, and we kind of seen this with the uh, some of the promotions, like for the granular armor coating, which I'll put up for you guys right now. Uh, there's a lot of customization that we've never been able to see before. So sort of like the Under Armour, that black like rubber that they have under their armor, um, the, you can actually have the colors of that change depending on the uh, armor coating you have. And then on top of that, uh, material, that's also brand new. So scratches, uh, the style of material. So like it could be metal, it could be plastic looking like, you know, everybody jokes about the armor style of 343 uh, for like Halo 5. It could be other things like glossy or metallic, who knows what, a bunch of things. So there's a lot of variety that they can actually do with armor coatings. The problem is not being able to select our colors, which is to me, I think is a very important aspect of Halo. Especially with the fact that it's been in Halo since the first game, right? Halo C all the way till 5. You were always able to choose the color of your Spartan. Whether it's only primary and secondary, still it was like, you know, being able to do that, it just felt a lot more personal. You know, you felt a lot more connected with the Spartan you created. It felt like yours, right? And I feel like, uh, you know, taking that away kind of is like a step back. Sort of how like Halo 5 had that step back in armor customization with only being able to use helmets and the armor sets. And they kind of had a similar, um, I guess I would say kind of excuse for doing that was to have like, you know, the artist be able to create specific armor sets that work geometrically with that. And then a lot of people complained about that. That was probably my least favorite thing in Halo 5 aside from, you know, the campaign. But um, yeah, honestly, I mean, I'm glad that here they already, they already, st they already stated in the armor coding uh, community update that, you know, it's going to be similar to Halo Reach customization armor wise with more robust per piece armor customization. Uh, however, though, you know, the color choices, I feel like, you know, there's just, uh, there should, I just think there should be primary and secondary color options, right? And my idea for a compromise with this, you know, in order to keep the armor coatings, because that is going to stay in the game. And the reason why that's staying in the game is because they already have promotions going on and they're not going to just you know give away these promotions right of having like you know giving away armor coatings they're paying a lot of money for that and people are spending money on these cookies and other products in order to get these armor coatings right and they're not going to just like you know oh release the game and just be like oh never mind you know forget all that now you can just choose all the colors you want so i feel like a good compromise with this is just to have a def the default skin right um have that be able to be customizable color wise just make it like a plain old primary and secondary right you know how like all the old games had like it was mainly your primary colors and then you maybe had like a stripe or two that was your secondary and just let that be the default skin you're able to choose the colors you want and it doesn't look anything special there's no cool material or texture or pattern to it and then let the armor coatings bring out much more unique color options that we've never seen before the materials, the textures, and let it be whatever the artist wants it to be, right? And I feel like this would be the best way to implement that into Infinite and, you know, have the fans be happy and also have an opportunity for 343 to make, you know, actual, you know, microtransactions off of the coatings or in-game unlockables as well. And uh, I feel like that's going to be the best way to do this unless we have armor coatings all wrong because we don't know too much about it, right? We only know what was in the community guidelines and some of the stuff that John Unishek has mentioned in tweets. Uh, for some reason, I can't find some of them, but he did say in one of the tweets that kind of was like reassuring, right? So somebody was felt a concern about uh, armor coatings, you know, a lot of people have. And let me bring this up right now. Give me a second. So basically, Vito, he kind of replied to John Unishek's post, I believe. 
and he's basically saying his concern over coatings replacing the primary and secondary color options and John Unishek responds with, you know, he totally understands the concern here, but I can confidently tell you that uniqueness will not be a problem in Infinite. So this is very, re it's kind of reassuring, you know, over the ability of, you know, being able to create a unique Spartan. I was always a person that always wanted to make my Spartan look very unique. I kind of was like a little upset when I found somebody that looked exactly like mine. I'm like, oh, no, I got to change something up, make it a little bit more unique, you know, do something that, you know, nobody has done before or not nobody has done before, but you don't see often that I also like, right? That's very important to me, and I feel like it's very important to the majority of the community. A lot of people I see are making excuses like, oh, you you know, you play red versus blue in the multiplayer most of the time. You don't even see your colors, but like that's not that's not the point, right? You're they're taking away this uh option that's been in the game since the first, like since two thousand, right? So it's twenty years later they're removing something as simple as that, and that's kind of, you know, it's a step back, right? But, however, I've seen some speculations, and I saw one recently actually posted by uh, on Twitter by Installation00. Uh, he had this idea, He's, his tweet said, In extension to my previous tweet, uh, tweet, what if we have misunderstood what information we have been given regarding armor coatings, and in fact we will get something like this? Not saying that's what happened, but suppose it has. And honestly, if this is what armor coatings is going to be like, where you get an armor coating and you're able to separately place coatings on different parts of the armor and you know you get to have these options of material right metal skin ceramic polymer composite nano laminate which are obviously these are all this is all like fan made right this image is fan made but you're able to choose these armor coatings that you've unlocked for those specific materials and you're able to choose between you know your helmet your chest uh, shoulders like it doesn't even have to be as detailed as it says here but like you know just separate armor pieces that would probably be the greatest thing of all time like customization wise like any in any game it would kind of remind me of well you know unfortunately anthem was all pretty you know disastrous launch but the customization in that was pretty amazing aside from like armor specifics but color wise you were able to choose the material you were able to choose the fabric and patterns and skins and those were micro transactions the skins but you were able to change the color of these and you know you were able to change the material and colors and it was just very unique very cool that was probably the best part of the game unfortunately the game was you know a disaster uh but if they were able to do, able to do something like that in halo infinite now that would be absolutely amazing but yeah hopefully you know hopefully things go this way this route i will definitely be a happy camper if it does and i'm pretty sure a lot of you will be as well but um yeah for now though if the armor coatings is what we've seen like at what we think it is right now with the way that they you know announced it um yeah i feel like the best compromise would be to just have a default skin have the ability to choose our colors with that default skin it's nothing special nothing crazy and then with armor coatings it will just overlap that and you know that's it you have Micro, they can make money off of microtransactions. I also understand, you know, why they want to do this because on the multiplayer is going to be free, and with that, you know, they have to make money somehow because not everybody's going to be purchasing the game fully. Most people, you know, the the younger crowds are probably just going to download it for free for just to play in the multiplayer. And in order to do that, they have to make you know some type of money in some type of way, and armor coatings is going to be that way. So even with this compromise, they'll still be able to sell skins because. I know damn well I would be buying skins because, you know, I want to make my Spartan as unique as possible. But with that ability to also have our, you know, primary and secondary colored options chosen for those that don't want to spend money on that or unlock it in game with currency like they say they would, uh, like they said they will be able to do, um, they have that option as well. And on top of that, I feel like another positive thing about this is the fact that promotional items are also able to be bought or, or earned in game after three months after three months the game releases then all the promotional items will also be in the game but yeah that's my compromise that's what i think of this but um i also have a little bit of news somebody just kind of uh found information about how to get that warthog with azure vehicle coding that blue and gray warthog coding we saw in the community guidelines um hey let me bring that up for you guys right now so on twitter a guy that goes by the name of nor morse he was able to find that uh xbox kroger it's kellogg's family rewards so i'm gonna bring it up for you guys right now so you guys can see i also looking down in the bio so you guys can go to the website 
So basically all you need to do is buy one of Kellogg's participating product from Kroger between October 30th, 20 and December 1st, 2020. All you have to do is just buy one of these products, whether it's a cereal like Fruit Loops or uh, Eggo, Pop-Tarts, Pringles, Cheez-Its. You take a picture of the receipt, send it into this. Uh, yeah, you send it into, a, I believe, a number, I believe. Take your take your receipts, and log in. Oh, so basically all you got to do is log in and upload the receipt. And then within a short amount of time, you'll get a code for 14 day or 30 day Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And plus you get the Kroger exclusive content download, which is the Blue Warthog, which is pretty cool. I just figured I'd put that in here as well, just to give you guys a little bit of news, you know, a little bit of something cool. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys comment down below what you guys think. What do you guys think of my compromise? How do you guys think this armor coding system is going to work? And uh, yeah, you guys should follow me on Twitter. We can have better discussions there. I post things, you know, that I normally don't post on YouTube there. And on top of that, if you guys like the video, please like, please subscribe, support the channel. I will really appreciate it. And I'll have more videos coming later this week. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace.